Hey, what is up guys? No subscribers guy back again for another another vehicle tutorial. Uh just cuz I don't know, just felt like it. Really just felt like it and I had one or two requests for this, so today I'll be building an Apache like helicopter. It's not the actual Apache cuz that was really hard to create. Uh I've tried for a couple hours. I couldn't really create the the direct shape of the Apache, so I came for something that looks quite similar. And then sort of the attack helicopter design. I tried to make it, you know, as I said, as close to the actual thing as possible. It's it's reasonably close. It's the best I could do with, you know, the scale I've been working on. And I hope you enjoy. If you want to build it yourself, then go ahead and copy this video. The first thing we're going to start off with is an upside down stone brick stair. And then we're going to go back nine stone bricks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and then another up to down stair. So you got this shit going. Now the reason I'm using stone bricks is because it sort of gives a grey look. Plus it's the only uh, one that has stairs that match that aren't stuff like sand, sandstone, or like floating stairs or wood. It just looks like a floating helicopter made of wood. So yeah, I went for stone brick stairs because it gives a sort of grey camoey look, which is sort of realistic, I guess. So after that, on the front place, a stone slab there, and then behind it, an upside down stair. Right, and then, the one behind, so you've got the stair there, and then the one next to it here, place an upside down stair, and an upside down stair like that. So you've got these two coming out of this, pretty damn simple. You've got some stairs coming out the side like that. Now, behind this stair, put one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three on top. So you've got four on the bottom, three on the top, and I'm using black stained glass for this one. Unfortunately, this isn't going to be a model you can, or a helicopter you can get in, it's just for the looks, really. But nonetheless, it's still quite nice. Anyway, so after that, get some stair, I'll get some standard blocks, and one, two, three, four. Uh, five for now. So we'll go across five for now. Same thing on the other side. So two, a one, two, three, four, five. And then two slabs, two slabs. Yeah, just place slabs sort of all the way along here like that for now. Right, so we've got that shape going. Now at the rear, above here, press one there, and take it out another six. So two, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that there is seven along in total. And at the back, place an upside down stair. Under here, place two stone brick slabs. Now, what should we do? Okay, right, moving on. Two bricks behind there. Then, like this. As right, so you place the bricks behind here, and one behind them, and diagonally outwards one, so you're going out one and diagonally out. Place this, but three of them. So one, two, and three. So you got that going. Now, okay, what should we do? Okay, here, fill in this center bit, and at the back, one behind these two, what, what will be sort of the exhaust engine bits, place a stair there. Behind that, one, two, and three of them. Okay. Alright, alright, okay, then I think we will extend this back by one. Got the measurements wrong there, we'll extend that back by one. And we'll fill this gap in here. If I'm going too quickly, just, you know, go back and pause the video. But this is what we've got so far. A, a reasonably basic shape. We'll improve on it. Of course, yeah, we'll definitely improve on it. 
But for now, that's our basic, basic shape. Here, there's another one of them stairs. Another one there. Another one. You could just do upside down stairs there. It's up to you, really. I will do upside down stairs there. Like that. Then, on here, you can either place... Now, what you're going to do is you can place like a corner stair. Which is like a stair facing that way. And then a stair facing inwards to get a little square, small corner. Which sort of gives the whole cockpit a different feel to it. I guess. It's hard to explain, really. Just like that. So, one stair facing inwards, like this way. And one, face, uh, one stair facing outwards. And just fill the rest of these in with stairs, like that. The same on this side. Remove that. Place it in front of the glass. And then just across. Like that. Really simple. We'll get into the final details of adding details later. But for now, what we're going to do is the block next to the back window. One and two. This will come out by two and this will come out by four. So that's this one is next to the window and this one is the one just behind the window. And that one goes up by four and that one goes up by two. And do the same on the other side. This will be where we, this will be where we have sort of the machine guns and stuff in the in a later date. Okay, that's at the right height. Just needed to check that. That's on the top. Well, that's at the bottom layer of this stairs. Right, going to the rear. At the back, place one and two, three, and a one, and then another one, two, three, and one. So I'll stop there. It looks like this at the moment. Nothing special, but I guarantee you will look a little bit nicer when it's finished. And there, if you haven't caught up, if you uh, if you are building this as well, there uh, you can sorry, you can rewind the video and stuff just to get what you want. At the back. Or to catch up even at the back, place a block there. And then another block diagonally, like so. And then two upside down stairs. And one or two of you. Uh, nope. In fact, don't place a second upside down stair, just place that stair there. So you have that going. Like so. So there's that so far. It looks a bit funny in the air, but it looks a bit. It looks a bit more like a plane than it does a helicopter at the moment. But it will turn out to be quite a nice helicopter in the end. Okay. So then I'm gonna grab some iron bars. I'm gonna go into this here, here, here. Press two. So in the middle of the three, we're gonna place two on top of there, and we'll get to the rotors later. Right, then what's going to happen is here, one and two. So two slabs, and this, it's hard to explain, but it's not the stair, it's the one above it. So this stair, and the bottom layer of the second stair there. So you've got a whole block above it, and half a slab below it. Same on the other side, one, two, like that. Right, right, right. From there, you're going to get some wall, some cobblestone wall. And under the edges of the wing, at the right at the end of this front wing, we'll place one, two, there'll be three along, and then we'll extend it by another one. So it's two to the front, and one to the rear. Sort of some sort of machine gun cannon sort of thing is the best I could find. The one thing that frustrated me the most about this build was, in general, the um, Minecraft is blocky, as you may know, of course, so you can't really get the fine details of of anything in. But I think it does look quite good from the front. Then, grab some stone brick slabs, and under this second one, so one away from that and one away from that, place four slabs like so. And we will do stuff to that in... in in the near future. Just four half slabs like that under there. That'll be some sort of rocket pod sort of missile thing. 
But for now, I think this looks pretty good. It's starting to look a lot better anyway. <laughs> yeah, grab some stone slab. I'll grab a stone slab. Put one on top of the top there, right on top of that double uh, stack. And then the top of the bottom one, or the bottom of the top one, it's up to you. Place these. But I'm going to do bottom of the top one. Place four like that. And we're going to go up by ten. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And finally to the rear. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, right, that is not correct. Uh, I've got a bit of trouble at the back. So what we'll do is we'll just extend it backwards one. That was my fault. I will just correct that quite simply and quite easily. Adding another block to the rear. Upside downstairs. Stone. Blocks. And then stone stairs. Like that. So the, the rotor blades don't actually crash into the back of the helicopter anymore. And then at the top, what we'll do, is so we'll add the rear, one, two, and three. And whoop, one, two, and three. And then what we'll do is we'll add the rotor blades on the back again. Not the rotor blades, whatever the back ones are. We'll add some small ones here, like that. So I'll give you a quick pause there so you can catch up. Like that. And then we're going to start getting into a bit more of the detail. So I'm going to grab some light grey carpet first. And above here, place above the uh, first two, top two windows at the front. So it gives it a bit more of a roof level feel. So not the whole top of the cabin or whatever it's called is exposed. Just gives it a bit more of detail. Really simple. Gonna grab an item frame now. Uh, just get rid of that. Alright, first place to put item frames on the side of our. So next to here on the left, place an item frame like that. And place an item frame like that. I'm simply putting them there just to get rid of sort of the machine gun the, or the wall look and to give them a bit more like they've sort of got a body to the machine gun. You can put them on the back bit as well. It's up to you, really. But I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna put it there, just to give it a little bit more of a machine gunny sort of better feel to it. Now here, I'm gonna use signs. What I'm gonna do with these signs is we are just gonna place the sign against every side of the slabs, like this. Like so. So it gives it a bit more depth, but not like the big thick block look of you know traditional Minecraft blocks. And then an item frame on the front and an item frame on the back. And then we'll grab some black uh, wool, black stained clay. That'll do. And try and fill that in there. Just to give it a bit more of a sort of a rocket launcher -y look and feel like that. So I'm gonna do the same one here. Signs all whoop, signs all around. Like so. Pretty easy to be honest. And I think it gives a nice a nicer look, a less big square blocky feel and a bit more of a slightly more detailed look. Anyway, that's what I was sort of going for. A bit less blocky, a bit more... Just a bit nicer in general, to be honest. I'm going to try and fit it in here. There we go. And on the front as well. Nope, on the front, there we go. There we 
There we go. There we go. So it's daytime again. Okay. Yes, we get a little bit more detail on the front under this nose, under this this front upside down stair. Place three item frames: one, two, and three. And then black stained glass in all three of them. This I'm doing to sort of replicate the camera that ha it has on the bottom of it. You could put it on the underside. I tried that. It didn't really look. It looked okay to be honest. It didn't look brilliant. But you know, you could put the camera on the underside like the actual Apache sort of has. But I'm keeping my camera in the nose in the front. Like that. And I think that looks pretty good. I think I did it. I think I, I got it quite nicely. Captured it. The idea of it quite nicely in the front there. Gives it a bit of extra detail. I just think it just looks good in general. So then on these engine parts, I'm going to place two iron frames on the front. Whoop! Oh, and not fall off. And two iron frames on the back. On the back, we're going to place... Uh, what are we going to do? Yep, stone bricks. That's the back end of the uh, engines. And then in the front, we'll put some iron bars. In the front... To sort of simulate the look of the sort of the uh, the grill at the front of the engines. I don't know what to call it. And there, there is most of our, our creation done. We have a few other things to do. Let's grab some wall again. I'm going to go to the back. And at the back, under this last one, I'm going to place that there. Then you can place some um, coal, block of coal, if you want, and put two uh, iron frames either side, put something in there as the back wheel, and have sort of the front wheels under here. The front, the front bit under there, like that, if you want. Or, which I prefer to do, and don't have these front bits sort of exposed, is remove that, and let that drop to earth, and just put them on either side of this, and just put that inside there, like that. So it gives that sort of impression that has the the wheel at the back under it. If you want to go into a bit more detail, the bottom is reasonably flat. You could uh, put a line here, or an extra layer of slabs, make it a little bit more sort of circular, and with 3D I'll do that I guess as well. And that is it. If I'm sorry if I went a bit too quickly, but you can always sort of rewind, slow down the video and whatnot and just copy it. If you really want to copy it, it's a good build, it looks quite nice, I especially like the front camera and the weapons, I don't think they're too thick, they're a bit big, but that's Minecraft for you, a bit blocky. Uh, but yeah, I think that's probably the best build I can for an Apache style attack helicopter. As I've said before, it was, a, it was quite a difficult one to do, might add something like that in there, like that. Just add as much detail as you want anywhere. Do what you want. Color scheme is completely up to you. I could, I just did it in stone bricks because I think it's sort of a universal thing because the stairs go with it. The stone itself, sort of stony sort of color itself goes with it. And I thought it went okay, to be honest. I thought it was an alright build. If you want to build it, obviously you can build it. All I can say is I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And I've been the No Subscribes Guy, and thank you for watching.